What's the deal, y'all? It's your girl, Yaya, and I'm here with another video. And today video, we talking about liquidity. I just want to remind y'all that I'm strictly on YouTube just to share my journey. I'm not a, a guru, financial advisor. I just want to share my journey for, for y'all can see, be totally transparent with y'all. I'm just doing it to keep track of my journey and to also maybe help somebody else. A lot of people may hear liquidity and be like, but that's too much. I just want to know how to trade. I ain't trying to learn all that extra stuff because this was me. I wasn't trying to learn anything extra that I didn't have to learn. All right. But unfortunately, to let y'all know, liquidity is nothing extra. It's something that you must know in order to learn how to trade. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Let's get into this video, man. All right. So what is liquidity? So we can all go back to the textbook on what liquidity is and everything like that. But to, to simplify liquidity, I'm going to give you all two ways how I understand what liquidity is. So liquidity to me is basically a support area, a resistance area, or a trend line. All right. So I know you probably like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. All right, so boom, let's 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 do this right here. If we look at this area, we're gonna go down to a one to a, we're gonna stay at the one hour time frame. All right, so if we look at this area right here, this area right here, we could see that it's a support right here. Even if you switch to a line graph, we can see that this is a support area in this area right here, right? We can mark this up. Boom. That's a support area. What makes this a liquidity area is when you mark up your support, price is eventually going to come back to this area. Listen to what I'm saying. Price going to eventually come back to this area to take out orders that was placed at this area. So what do you mean, Yaya? So, for example, if I was to get inside of this trade, somewhere around here of course i'm gonna have my stop loss tight um some people may have it below this low and some people may have it you know tight or whatever like that if i wanted to if i was the trader where i'm holding this trade and i'm holding it and i'm holding it, i'm holding it maybe you got some swing traders you know want to hold it all the way up here price came back to this level okay price came back to this level and what did it do, y'all? It literally came back down and wicked out this liquidity area, right? It came back down here for a reason, though. It came back down here because it wanted to take out everybody that had gotten this trade and hit their stop loss. It wanted to hit their stop loss before it continued to go back up. This is a prime example of what do you call liquidity? It's a trap. That's what it is. It's a trap, a, a legit trap. <laughs> so y'all have to be careful when it comes to liquidity. All right. Boom. You can also use liquidity for a good reason and not get trapped inside of liquidity. Let's see a, a trend line liquidity. Trend line liquidity is you draw this trend line, right? Boom. Obviously, we all know what a trend line is. So you draw that trend line, right? Once you use the trend line as liquidity, it's basically you using it as a profit target area, okay? So when price had came to this area, to this support zone right here, right? Price came to this area and it broke out of this trend line. A lot of traders got in this trade. Okay. Say if I was one of them traders that got in this trade, boom, I enter here. Maybe I put my stops below the low, whatever. And I don't know where to target it. I don't know where to target nothing like that. Okay. But by you having this trend line of liquidity sitting here, you know price wants to go and tap into that liquidity. 
because what does price do? Always tap into liquidity. There is a lot of liquidity inside of the market. So the best way you can do it, you got, you got to make it work for you, y'all. I'm telling you, you got to make it work for you. So if you wanted to, you can aim for liquidity, okay? Now, this ain't no one-on-one, -on -one, but whatever. Maybe you could put the stops a little closer or whatever. I don't know. But that's totally up to y'all. But the whole purpose of me making this this example is to show y'all you can use liquidity to its advantage. So this is a trend line. You can use liquidity here. You can aim for this high because liquidity is support, resistance, and trend lines. All right. You go down to a line graph. You can see we got support here. You can see we got resistance here. You can see we got resistance here. I'm sure it's resistance to the left of it too. Yep. It's resistance there. This is liquidity. This is liquidity. This is liquidity. This is liquidity. We can make a song about liquidity. <laughs> but that 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 is like you can use liquidity to its advantage advantage, okay? So that's one way, well, two ways that you can aim for liquidity and you can try to not get in, get trapped in liquidity. So let me give y'all another way of how to stay away from liquidity, like how to spot it or wait for it to like trap traders and then you get inside the market. All right. So let's find an example with liquidity. All right. Boom. So I found another example for liquidity, right? I know I'm saying it a lot, but I need y'all to understand, like, you you got to put it in your trading strategy in some type of way, or at least have an understanding of what it is or when you see liquidity, okay? So when you're looking for a sell side liquidity setup and not to get trapped inside of it, you want price to give you, I don't know, an M setup. I think it's an M setup. I don't know the patterns anymore, but this is what you want to see. When you go to the line chart, and this is what you want to see. All right, so a lot of people like, what is that? It, it, I think it is an M setup. I don't know. I don't know the patterns. <laughs> but basically, you want price to make a high. You want price to take out that high. And then... you. <clears throat> you wanted to make another low okay this spike right here is confirmation that you have officially avoided liquidity and once it make this low again letting you know that it wants to go lower then you wait for the breaker structure and you enter the trade for a sell boom stops above the high and then you continue to go lower this is what you want to look for when you're looking for a sell side liquidity. So when you're looking for a buy side liquidity, you want to look for the opposite. It's going to go up. So so when you're looking for a buy side liquidity, obviously you're looking to take buy. So you want a price to form a low. You want price to take out the low. And then you want, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be higher than this. And then you want price to create a higher high, okay? Once price create that higher high, this is confirmation letting you know that price wants to go higher and you have avoided the liquidity stop out, okay? So now all I'm doing is waiting for price to break structure. Once price broke structure, you can enter for a buy here. Boom. Put your stops below this low right here and aim for whatever target that you want to aim for. But the whole purpose of this is to find liquidity and to make sure that you don't get stopped inside, get trapped inside of liquidity. Okay. So you just wait for the three point setup. Honestly, once you wait for the three point setup, your gravy, bro. So, so I use I use this sometimes, but I always keep I keep it in the arsenal. You got to keep it in the arsenal. So, what I do to spot liquidity, I can go to a line graph, and you can use this on all time frames. But to be more accurate, 
I would strictly stay on the um the one hour. It's three points that I'm looking for. Okay, so oh you have a low here. If you're looking to get inside of a bullish trade, this is what you want to look for. It's basically like an inverse head and shoulders. Basically, that's what it is. To be honest, you have a low point right here. Then you have a lower point right here. Then you have another point here. It's an inverse head and shoulders, to be honest, but this is really liquidity, all right? But what makes this liquidity is this right here, this whole spike. So we have a low point right here. This was a support area. Remember, I told y'all it could be support, resistance. This was our first low. Price came down and broke that low, and it spiked out a whole lot of traders because, you know, traders probably got in right here. Boom. A lot of traders got in right here aiming for this high. And probably put their stops like close here. But what did it do? Liquidity came down and it tapped into that stop loss that they got. And it took them all out. That's our confirmation that liquidity has officially been tapped into. Then what you want to do is you want to wait for price to make a high. Okay. Now price done made its high right here. And it created this support. I mean a resistance. All right. Once it created that resistance and it created a new high in the market, I'm sorry, and it created a new high in the market right here because it came and it broke this previous high, this was my confirmation for me that price wanted to continue to go higher, okay? So this right here could be possibly a, a demand setup, and this is not this is me not looking at the candlesticks or nothing yet. This could be a possible demand setup, and it, and it is. It's a demand setup, but I'm almost certain that this is not in session. Yeah, this is why the candlesticks are very low momentum candlesticks, but it's because it's not in session. It's 1 o'clock. I wouldn't have entered this trade because it's not in session. This is totally against my rules or whatever. I'll only trade in session, but this is a liquidity setup. So if you wanted to wait for price to, to create basically like an inverse head and shoulder, Wait for price to take out that low and then create a high. This is my three-point structure or buy side liquidity. So this is, yeah, like a buy side liquidity setup, perfect setup for you to take to not get trapped inside of liquidity when you're looking for buy. So let's see if we could find a sell side liquidity when it comes to not getting trapped inside of the market for sales. All right, y'all, so I found the sell side liquidity. And remember, when it comes to a sell side liquidity, this is the pattern that you want to look for. And you want price to go lower and continue to go lower. So it's not the perfect setup, but, you know, I tried. So we go to a line chart. And when we look at the line chart, we can see that this is a area where we have a, a high here. And we have a spike above that high. This is our liquidity area. And then our next spike is lower. So this is the perfect setup for a sell side liquidity. We have price making a high. It made a higher high. And it basically like stopped out traders because traders probably got in here. <clears throat> traders probably got in here, put they stop somewhere above here, probably tight and then aim for the lows. So they got stopped out. And then we wait for the next point to make a lower high, a lower high. Okay. This is, will be our confirmation for price to continue to go lower because it never broke this high instead it made a lower high so we enter here you can enter there or you could wait for the break of structure once price breaks structure you can enter for a sell putting your stops above that high price then already tapped into the liquidity zone so you have officially avoided liquidity once you avoid liquidity you can aim for whatever profit target that you choose all right so that is how to spot liquidity, how to not get trapped in liquidity, how to use liquidity to your advantage, okay? So I hope I was clear in this video. If y'all like these videos, make sure y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel. But until next time, man, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.